Hello everyone, Chopper Gaming here. Welcome back to my channel. Today for a video to Ash Echoes, we're going to talk about one of the best supports that you should be considering to use from the first week of the game. This is going to be a game changer for you. We're talking in today's video about the only support that's changing the game for you, going to be Farida. She's a support focusing on the healing as well as increasing the damage. The reason why she is a top tier and the best support that you could be considering to get in the start of the game if you don't have a 6 star support is because of her skills. We're starting with the first skill flip the stage. This is going to be switching the stage effects increase all the Ecomancers at crit rate by 13% and their MST by 13% as well and speeding up command cooldown regenerations and auto scale charging by 31% for 20 seconds. So this is helping out with the part with focusing on increasing the damage in total. And then we're having the second skill going to be the indulgence. This is a, having a passive which means it's not going to be affected by which stage she's having. The passive here is healing all the allied Ecomancers for HP equal to 73% healing power every 5 seconds. As well as the active, when you active this skill, it switch the stage effects and halves the passive's healing cooldown by 50%. So this is really great. So it's not like you're going to be having every 5 seconds, but actually you're going to have it every 2.5 seconds. And then additionally, it will be increasing the target's basic du duration by between 9 to 15% based on the defense and it lasts for 20 seconds. So it's not just healing or increasing the, de uh, the damage, but it's also focusing on increasing the defense here. So really, this is a great addition into this hero. And for the end core for her, actives the previous stage effects again at no cost granting it increase the healing from stage effects by 40 percent so with this addition we're talking about 125 percent of the healing and increase the stat bonus and resource generations by 50, by 66 percent so this is going to be a really great addition to be having her and the same time look into the reverse fan chant. This is gonna be even more great. Doesn't attack enemies. The basic attack is you know, it's a normal. And then we have in the combat rates. This is when present increase all a commander's attack by fifteen percent when priest is present. So combining Farida along with Priest going to be given the Ecomancer's attack by 15%. Additionally, it will be increase their own attack by 5%. So this is, you know, we're talking about 20% of the attack increase, as well as healing, as well as defensing. So this is such a great hero to not be actually using her. So we're having two heroes in here. We're talking about Farida and when adding priest along with her she's going to be even more great how to be getting the hero there is three ways we can be considering how to get her the first one going to be if you make a one dollar bar case you will be having it into this option is it an event I don't really remember where I saw that one yeah it's from here it's in the featured back it should be in the limited time here I have got it for just a dollar wasn't really a big deal looking to the great heroes, how she, she is, you know. Or we can be get, getting her from the event center, checking the uh, Nexus dailies. When we do a uh, seven days of the Nexus, we're going to get a five star selection card. So we can select her from here as well. Or you can be lucky and get her from the summon. All the banners have in her. Like if we have the limited time one here, checking the five stars, you're going to be seeing that she's already here. And even in the others, this is a memory trace. We have the commanders. This is going to be including all of them. She's here too. So yeah, this is one of the best heroes you should be considering to use in the early stage, especially look into how great she is in overall healing, increasing the damage as well as the defense too. 
and when combining her with Priest, it will be even more great, not just a normal support. So this is the, one of the best support you should be using and I highly recommend you to be using her once you have her. She's from my main team and if we check in it, she's actually the strongest. She's already in the session 4. So yeah, she's really worth it. That's all guys for this video and make sure to be having your thoughts shared with us in the comments if you're having any other thoughts around Farida or if you have any other opinions. I'll be more than happy to hear it and have your thoughts along with me. Make sure as well to subscribe to the channel to not be missing my videos in the future. Till then, take care and have a happy gaming time.